Hello everybody. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. This is Theron. Um, I, and look, we finished the uh, the Guardian Farm. Oh yeah, this looks really boring. I have to figure out what to do about this. Um, because, uh, yeah, it does not look good. Um, I got the whole top half slabbed here because I don't want anything spawning up here. Um, we got the glass out here, so it kind of looks like an infinity pool. It's actually really cool looking. And I may end up taking out the outer rows, maybe <clears throat> maybe five rows or so of, uh, of this and replace them with, with more of the blue glass. So you can kind of see down inside it. Uh, this platform here is our temporary uh, staging platform. Uh, I don't know if you saw... I put a portal in here. There's a portal in the nether that leads to it a little bit more conveniently i intend to move this platform up in the sky i have to figure out how far up to move it basic math it's not going to be difficult i just have to do that and then i'll move this portal up there and it should you know take out this portal and move it up there it should work just fine let's go take a look woohoo look at that ah that's pretty cool so big that the collection mine carts aren't all rendering that's pretty crazy so the spawning area here all done collection floor i laid down all the track didn't really do an update and i'm sorry about that but we'll do uh i'll show you how it all how it all works here put in the tracks did some tests with the uh, mine carts and uh put over glass so the mine carts can suck through the glass suck up the drops and then I noticed I was having spider spawning this is brown glass um, I wanted to do dark gray or light gray glass but unfortunately I just didn't have enough I didn't have enough ink sacks uh, to do that so that was kind of a that was, that was a little annoying because this is a lot of uh, a lot of glass um, uh, cocoa beans are pretty easy to farm in good quantity so i did it brown looks pretty good i like it and then as i said i had spider spawning interfering with the minecart so i put in these sea lanterns in the same pattern as the torches it's enough to take care of all the spider spawns i do have bats not quite sure what to do about the bats i don't know if there's anything to be done i have a huge roof here so this is essentially a big cavern and I don't know enough about how the bats spawn. Um, so maybe I'll be able to fix that. It's, they're just a little annoying. It's not too big of a deal. There's only a handful of them at a time. I tried decorating around the edges here a little bit using the prismarine. I think this looks pretty good. I might take it up and, and sort of do more. And I might do the walls. I do kind of like the, the rough hewn sort of look. But uh, okay. Uh, the main reason I am doing this video, besides just showing off what we've done, uh, I am going to let me grab some of this, grab some of this, grab some of this, just in case. Um, I want to show you the collection system. It's a pretty straightforward standard collection system. But, um, oh, can you hear that? There's lava down there. Yeah, I ran into some lava. So the collection system's down here. I wanted to show it. It's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, and it is, it is basically the same that everyone else is doing. Um, I ran into a problem, though, that wasn't uh, really clear or documented anywhere. And, uh, and it makes perfect sense now that I think about it. But I just wanted to... Uh, pop. Yeah, come here. Ugh, okay. Um, sorry, clean up after myself. I was doing some testing and this was handy. Um, oh, I don't have enough. Hang on a second. Okay. Where was I? Yes. Collection systems. So hopper minecart collection systems, pretty common. Lots of people using them. And uh, you can, you know, there's lots of videos out there of uh, people implementing them. They're pretty straightforward. It makes a lot of sense. 
uh, I wanted to use one and I ran into some interesting problems. I wanted to sort of explain that and how I fixed it. So here's what's going on. Mine cards. I'll come up here and uh, they come up to the spot here. If I put down one of these powered rails, you will see that they are not powered. Oops. And uh, that's fine. So that when a powered rail, when a minecart hits a powered rail that's not powered, it stops, it slows it down. It, it basically applies the brakes. Get back there. Thank you. Um, and it hits a, a powered rail and it's already moving in a direction. It's, it keeps moving in that direction, speeds up. When you hit a powered rail, that's, uh, if it hits a powered rail, it's powered against a block. It moves away from that block. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put in a collection system. Sorry, I have to tear some of this out. Oh, and of course my inventory's full because I picked up too much stuff. That's fine. Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll deal. Okay. Oh, actually, I do kind of need that. It's kind of annoying. I'm sorry. Hang on a second. I'm not as organized here as I would like to be. Um, put you down there. Oh, that'll work. Um, let's see here. Oh, I can pick you up and then throw you down there. Ugh. <laughs> not as clever as I had thought. Oh, come on. You know what? Let me just do this. Okay. <laughs> that will that will fix it. Let me put the I have a little hopper down there that I was using for testing to pick up drops as they come down here. Um, all right. So mine carts come up here. I'm gonna put in a row of hoppers. This is all pretty straightforward. So this is are those are the right oh I you know what I thought I, I had all this stuff right okay let me put this in here uh, and then put down these so if I put these on here notice they're not powered that's because the nearest power I have a row of redstone blocks here that are from the redstone block this redstone block will power powered rails for eight blocks away from the redstone block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The ninth one is not powered. And that's the way we want it. Um, okay, hang on a second. Let me go fix this. Since I had to run back home, uh, I'll show you the, the hallway. I did some updates here. This isn't this isn't perfect yet, but uh, it certainly is a little better. So I put some uh, Instead of the torches that I ran along here, I put some sea lantern and some uh, polished uh, diorite. I think that's the diorite. I can't, I can't keep them straight. Anyway, it's um, so I wanted to put them in little arrows that point towards the main hub room, so that if you're out and along and you get you know confused about which way to go, you just follow the arrows. I also put in some rail. Um, put half slabs on top of it. And uh, it actually works. You can get in the cart and you you can see the hitbox of the half slabs, but you can't see the half slabs themselves and you don't take damage. So you're able to, to ride back and forth. It helps quite a bit. Okay, so this is the new, uh, the new portal, the new Guardian Farm portal here. Um, I, I'm kind of going for this sort of partially finished look. I don't know if it's working. Anyway. So this takes you directly there. You don't have to go out to the other um, ocean monument and and uh, ride down. Okay. So. Okay. So let's get back to this. 
Let me, uh, put that there. Okay, so we've got rails, powered rails. I've got the blocks of redstone. Now, of course, you could dig down underneath and put redstone torches. They'd work just as well. I have plenty of redstone. This wasn't that much. And uh, then you don't have to worry about digging below and figuring it all out. So and, and moving them is a little easier. So I have this one here. This row is positioned such that this last row of, of rails is unpowered. It's, it's nine blocks away. You could also do this by putting in a row of unpowered, non-powered rails or just regular rails. That works too. Didn't decide to do that uh, because this works just fine. And I have plenty of gold because um, we have a gold farm. All right. So the hoppers here and the minecarts come up and these are all hopper minecarts. And they come up and they get to this block and because it's unpowered they will stop they will hit this this block and start to dump the stuff from here into the hoppers below okay and then now i have them going down into chests why chests you might ask i was trying to use hoppers and i, I was going to do it with like in sets of three so three hoppers here go down into three hoppers that feed in together and the center hopper was going to go down into the dropper and uh yeah i was having trouble with that um the mine carts would come up and they wouldn't they wouldn't stop they just bounce off the they just bounce off the block and start going again they drop off an item maybe two uh so they were dropping stuff off so the, the it was working it just wasn't working correctly and i figured out what was going on uh, so notice that I've got this these slabs here. So let me put up the rest of these slabs because it's the next step in our construction here. And I wanted to build this last little bit for you. Oops. Ah, oh, Theron, stop it. On camera. Um, bop. And the these slabs <clears throat> these slabs have comparators on them. So let's get the comparators them down pop 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 this comparator measures how much is in this hopper and it powers on when there's something in the hopper so when the minecart comes up and starts dropping items off into this hopper these comparators turn on and powers this block this block has a redstone torch on it and when the farm is on these sticky pistons are extended and so this block here sits over it's pushed out and it sits on top of the torch powering that block uh and then which powers this repeater which powers the block which causes the minecart to come up and just bounce off the block and go back when it's dropping stuff off the comparator turns on powers this block which turns off the redstone torch which then unpowers the the repeater so the minecart stops at the block and sits there while it's offloading when it finishes offloading then the, the the comparator turns off and then the redstone torch turns back on powering the block turning it on the repeater and sending the cart on its way again all super uh super pretty straightforward super straightforward um and you see lots of people doing these type of systems because it's it is straightforward and it works the problem is that uh as i said when i when i set it up and was turning it on it wasn't working the carts were dropping off an item or two not not enough and so it was it was very confusing so as i said these guys I need to get my prismarine blocks here so these pistons these sticky pistons will push out when i turn on the when i pull this lever it'll push them out and it'll power these these blocks and the carts will go on their way so this is a way of turning off the farm by retracting these um so let's get out our uh, redstone torches and put them on the blocks um these repeaters any any delay will work any ticket doesn't have to be um 
but there's no reason to put any more delay on it than you have to so what was happening so the hoppers were coming down into other hoppers and then the hoppers were then filtering into a dropper and I'm using a uh, a little a little dropper dispenser clock circuit what's going on Get over here which I use I've used a number of times you've seen it on the chicken cooker and you've seen it on other things it works very well and um, it's very straightforward what are you doing oh there's something in this dropper take it out so there you go you saw when there's something in the dropper this comparator turns on this repeater boosts it this comparator becomes a little clock circuit because it's on subtraction mode which then powers this guy and then when i put a block here and i put something in so it, when i put something into the dropper it fires so this block then fires the hopper so i have these all along built a little room down here with just a bunch of these this little circuit can be made more compact i certainly could do it more compact here by spreading it out um, instead of using this repeater and this comparator i could just do this comparator in subtract mode run the redstone dust around here to turn this into the clock it works um, it seems slower to me so i wanted to go with the the faster the faster clock circuit uh, so all this here you can see i've got spots here where i'm building up the wall i haven't done that down here yet i will i'll do that off camera um, i have a water flow system here packed ice down below and water flowing over it half slabs to uh, let me place additional water blocks because this thing is longer than the water will flow and then i've got um, sea lanterns here as lighting just to keep stuff from spawning back here so why wasn't it working well it turns out that when a hopper is feeding downward into another hopper items move fat through it too fast for the comparator to react um, probably could do it if i had the secondary row of, of hoppers pointing into nothing like they didn't point to each other or they just you know whatever but then i'd have to have another row of hoppers below that routing stuff into the dropper and that was a lot of hoppers obviously i need a hopper underneath each each track i need hoppers to get things down here into the dropper but the solution turned out to be to use chests so i've got two on each each pair of tracks here feeding down into a chest double chest so regular chest double chest regular double trap chest and then i feed hoppers down from these into uh, out of the chest into the into the dropper and then uh, i realized i could have actually put the dropper up at this level and put the this hopper over on this side and feed the two hoppers into the dropper directly uh, into the sides uh, i could do that i had already dug down because i was banging my head trying to figure out the problem and i dug down farther um and i wasn't going to go and redo the whole thing so items come from the chests um they get picked up by the hopper mine carts and while we're talking let me do this let me make some hopper mine carts which do not stack unfortunately there we go and then uh let me just make a little extra space here and so i can place them all down so the hopper mine carts go out pick up the drops the they pick it up through the glass they also pick it up through the sea lanterns i did check that just to be absolutely sure uh, and then place this glass here and the glass is up here isn't necessary it's just an aesthetic thing is to keep everything um, sealed up oh jump up there please thank you uh, keep everything sealed up 
and then uh, I can place it here. The prismarine blocks will slide underneath it, no problem. There we go. Collection system complete. Well, almost. Um, these droppers, even though they're just droppers, they will fire stuff off at kind of a surprising velocity. So, so we're going to do that. So they fire off against this wall here and then drop down into the water stream. The water stream goes down here. Now, I have in here, for now, a hopper. But that was just for testing purposes. Um, I will turn this into a water stream that extends here underneath and uh, comes over here and goes boop, boop, boop. And that's exactly the sound it will make. And I'm going to turn it into an item elevator that goes up. I have to figure out where to do that. Um, and uh, I have some, I've been doing some testing with that. Uh, item elevators of this type the glass type item elevator very common everybody you you can see all kinds of examples of that on youtube as well uh, but it'll feed it all the way up to the level where the platform is where i'm going to build for the afk platform and then uh and then i'll run it into a sorting system i still have to look, figure out exactly where all that's going to go but for the time being let's let's take a look at this turn on the switch and the minecarts go away. Now there's nothing here for them to pick up at the moment. So they all remain pretty much in sync. But you can see the farm is pretty... Oh, okay, they're, they're staying in render distance. So they come back here. And they hit the wall and they bounce off again. Very nice. Let's go upstairs and turn on the farm. This is very exciting. They'll go and make their noise and, and just keep on going. Um, I do have problems. I wanted to make it so I could turn off the minecarts because I do have problems when the chunks here unload. Sometimes the minecarts stop. They don't, when they reload, they're not in motion again. So um, let me drop some stuff off in here. Come on. Whoa, why is my pings all bad? Ah, uh, okay. probably drop off more than that but we're not going to do any benchmarking here there we go my pings are really bad so the lever i think last time i showed you i had a lever here instead of a button i've replaced it with a wood button uh that's because the wooden button has a longer pulse so we really do want to pulse for all these dispensers so when i press this let's pull this up see i'm getting like 60 frames per second right now because there's not much going on here and certainly if i go out here it drops no, not that much okay nice okay so if i click on this frame rate drops precipitously then it recovers mostly okay and you can hear all the water let me turn this off and oh and we see guardians falling falling from the sky whap okay and now as they fall those minecarts have picked things up so some of the minecarts will stay behind to drop off the things they picked up now they're getting out of sync and th this is where my my brain gets excited about that <laughs> um so come over here to this side we can stay up here and watch some you can see i'm having some lag issues here uh, and the the guardians don't help that but you can see items here the minecarts will come and pick those up Oop. it'll stop and sit here and dump them out and then you can hear all the the droppers going let's go see what that looks like and this is the cool part when the minecarts come in, look at the items. They just come zoop, 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 zoop. Oh, and there was a uh, there was an ink sack there, I think. Anyway, it's a constant. It's pretty much a constant stream of stuff once the farm gets going. Um, as I said, I'm standing here on top of a hopper to pick up some of the stuff. It comes so quickly that I can't pick it all up. Some of it does go down into the hopper. 
Um, yeah. And it comes pretty quickly. So you can see the farm's been on for like a minute and I've already got stacks and stacks of stuff. This is very cool. All right, so that's the, uh, the guardian farm. Obviously we still have the item uh, elevator and uh, sorting system to to work out um, but it's pretty much it's functioning enough that I could uh, make all these sea lanterns and uh, dark prismarine blocks um, now it does occasionally you get squids I thought I saw an insect float by there but I guess not um, and you can see some of them yeah the legs doing that so yeah so this is kind of ugly to me this is the thing that turns the uh, collection system on and off um i tried to put this down behind but then i was running into a problem this redstone bit here or this redstone bit here powers these three blocks so that's why i can have this uh repeater here and i don't have to worry about powering this block because it's covered by these this redstone and this redstone if I put it off to the side it doesn't do the same thing and uh, it doesn't work as well so I'll, I, I need to do something to cover this up I will probably put a row of blocks above here because I don't necessarily need to be able to walk along here um, yeah okay I'm gonna go turn off the farm uh, let's see what we got here right now notice my entity count is pretty low because the well the rice is done um, the any counts pretty low because they're all right here but the, the collection system is picking them up I was getting without any initially <laughs> without the collection system they were just the guardians were just falling we'd run around and just pick up the drops but we were getting like averaging about 1200 entities the 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 drops count as entities and we we had about 1200 and and a couple 150 or so are the the guardians and the squid that are swimming around and the bats and we probably have some mobs in caverns underneath which probably would help to to uh to light up okay so watch what happens when we close the farm when we turn off the spawning frame rate drops badly and it stays down for a while to the point where I, I shouldn't even really try moving oh you know what that's doing better this is uh this is um minecraft 183 i just updated the server tonight mojang released the uh 183 a couple days ago <laughs> 182 came out and then the next day 183 came out obviously there were some serious problems um which i didn't uh i don't know what they were and someone's texting me hang on a sec oh cool okay so now every all the all the drops have been picked up so let's turn off the uh, collection system and you'll see all the carts come back and stop i think that's so cool one more or a couple more there we go sometimes they don't make it all the way to the block but that's okay they're not super even but i think that's so awesome and if we jump down here, we can take a look at the drops. There's so many drops there right now. So many, my inventory's full and uh, I don't know, let's get rid of this stuff. I don't need these fish. I'm trying to figure out on the sorting system how I'm gonna deal with, uh, with the fish because it, it generates so many of them and they're kind of useless. Um, yeah, the, the fish are kind of useless. Uh, we don't eat them. Nobody on the server eats them. 
And after just, you know, after running the farm for a few minutes, we probably would have enough fish to feed everyone on the server for the rest of the time that they're playing on the server. So, and this is on top of my uh, chicken cooker, which no one's using, no one's eating that chicken. And I've got more chicken than anyone could ever possibly eat again. So, so I don't know. I might, I might consider the fish to be an overflow and and literally i'm thinking of setting up a dispenser that just chucks them into the ocean seems kind of wasteful but anyway um so these uh these prusperine crystals are are kind of the most valuable thing that comes out of the farm because they're used to make these sea lanterns uh everything else uh the i mean look at look at how much fish Oh, and these crystals, I, I, I just don't have enough space for all of it. I don't even know what to do. Um, fortunately, to make these uh, prismarine blocks and the prismarine bricks, it takes, you know, it takes a fair number of these shards to, to make these, uh, to make the prismarine blocks itself. It's like four, four stacks gets you a stack. So they compact pretty easily. Um, so there's the stack I just made. If you want the the bricks it takes nine of these if you want the sea lanterns it takes five of these or four of these plus five of the crystals and if you want the dark prism it takes eight of these plus one ink sack so as I said the farm does spawn um, it does spawn uh, a squid so you do occasionally get ink sacks we will get some but uh, not not a ton it's not actually it's not really an ink farm exact farm it's not a squid farm uh if we want one of those we'll have to build one and if i do i'll probably build the uh the one that the zip crowd guys uh, did uh that uh Zuma Boy just built on the hermitcraft server which is pretty cool yeah so anyway that is uh that's the guardian farm it's sort of it's it's coming together uh, it's fully functional. Um, I can go if those haven't despawned by now. Uh, I can go pick up the rest of those crystals and or the shards and the fish and all that. Um, probably will let a lot of it despawn because I don't need all the fish. Yeah, look at that. That's it's just insane. Oh. Um, and of course, if I throw it out here, it's just going to end up in the hopper. So. Just so much. So many fish. So many fish. Okay. So as I said, I'm going to extend this back here. Oh, look, iron. Wow. <laughs> right in my path. That's, I'm... Ed, that that makes me more happy than you can imagine. Uh, so I'm going to dig this back here a little bit. Uh, I'll probably hook it, uh, make hook it, and and uh, make it turn left before it hits the item elevator because that seems to help align the items and seems to make them flow better. So the water stream comes under here. I'll probably bring it up here, hook it this way, and then the actual item elevator will probably be right here. It'll go all the way up there, through the roof and up. So I'm going to need a bunch of glass. And, uh, I mean, you can use any, you can use other blocks as well. It doesn't have to be glass, but it's pretty with glass. You can watch them flow up. And, uh, yeah, so there's going to be a pillar right there. With all the items go up and then a platform up there to, with the, uh, the sorting system. I need a bunch more iron. Uh, because the sorting system is going to need a ton of hoppers. <laughs> uh, so, and I... Okay. Uh, so that was... Uh, I used a lot of iron here. Each of these, you know, each of these tracks. the Between the minecart, the hopper, and then the hopper right under the track... That's 15 iron per track, and there's like 60 of them across. And then per every four tracks, there's two more 
uh, two more hoppers here and the tra each trap chest takes another iron so that's another 10 12 per four tracks so that's 15 plus 3 that's 18 iron per track um, it's a little expensive and then that's not to mention all the buckets up in there every one of those dispensers has a uh, five iron in, it, in the bucket so uh, I'm kind of low on iron so uh, we have plans about that which I will tell you next time uh, thank you for watching I'm gonna call that an episode and uh, as I get this along when I get the the item elevator in and whatnot I'll I'll show you that when we get the progress updates but this is functional I can make all the sea lanterns I want which means I can get started on the witch farm which was kind of why I was working on this um, first uh, but we need iron for the witch farm as well. So we may actually be building an iron farm uh, Sooner rather than later But uh, more about that later. Oh, just as the rain comes. All right. Well, thank you very much uh, That will do it for this episode and uh, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have a good night Bye